Hi guys, and so the other day I uploaded this video and it didn't really work out. Um, I had something really messed up with the audio. Did 550 miles that day and then we ended up trying to edit a video, upload it at midnight and then have it go live in the morning and I just kind of messed up. I didn't re-watch the video once it was uploaded on YouTube. I had a couple little swipes on my uh, new editing software that I messed up on. So I'm re-uploading it. Um, if you watched it the other day and the audio was just trash, I'm sorry. But here it is and we will start over. gonna work. Hi guys, what is up? Steve Chamberlain, S Chamberlain 5150 here. Um, so we have just lost, left Salt Lake City uh, probably about 100 miles ago uh, on our first gas stop. So we are shooting up I think through Boise and then um, that's gonna take us to Oregon and then Washington and then we are on our way. I want to go check out the Renegade Riot. So uh, my buddy Joe Goodwin and Wayne Johnson. Joe Goodwin of uh, TN1 Customs uh, Paint. And then uh, Wayne is of uh, Elite Touring Innovations. Uh, they're both two of my Canadian friends. So we're gonna see if we can get across the Canadian border because we might have gotten in some personal trouble about eight or nine years ago. And I heard uh, sometimes there's an issue with getting across the border with those uh those situations at this time so whatever you can call you can do this and do that or you can just ride your motor cut cycle and send it to the border so uh follow along we're gonna probably just these road trip ones are kind of boring but we'll try to make the best of it so let's see if we can get into canada and have a good time Hey guys <laughs> found us a sweet little canyon road um we we're gonna shoot over to like oregon was what the plan was i've never been to oregon and then washington and then we're on our way to the the renegade riot up in british columbia uh canada bc canada um but then i was looking at the route and like i'm not a person that's afraid to change the route in the matter of like i don't know about 12 seconds so we uh, went through Boise and then uh, Google Maps ended up deciding, it was like, hey, it's an hour longer to go this way. So we are uh, north of Boise. We went through Horseshoe Bend and we're just basically following this river. I probably should have looked at the name of the river uh, before I started this video, but it's dope. I love it. I'd live out here. This is sweet. A little bit busier of a road, but it's super cool. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep on keeping on. Woo. Cascade Lake. Wow. I love the mountains. Like, I can live in that house up there. You get that house, you got a nice big old front lawn, where they get a bunch of goats. And then this year view, you get a mountain range, and then you have a lake right there. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I love it.
Wow, this sun is brutal on me right now. Some cool little mountain switchbacks that we're in right now. Just trying to see where I'm going. I've definitely got the squints on right now. There we go. Give me some shadows that I can see. back into the sun. Uh, we got this. Man, I am loving this little detour that I took. Definitely, uh, the other way just looked, it looked a lot more like highway, just kind of going through the valleys and stuff. And then when I seen this one where it was like rolling through some green mountain ranges on Google Maps, I was really stoked. So it did add an hour to the time, but this is what the whole adventure is all about. Um, you know, finding those little hidden gems of a road. Uh, you know, I, I love this stuff. You know, I, sometimes I don't even mind just rolling alone with it. So you just go at your own pace. You want to change up your, your directions. You know, you just go with it. But imagine living right around here. Wow. It's looking at me funny when I'm like standing up while rolling down the motorcycle. But the reason why I can do these such long mile days and doesn't is I constantly move around. I gotta switch side to side. You know, my seat gets hot. Like right now my seat's cooling down, my butt's cooling down. And you know, I stretch my knees out. I don't need to stop. I still got fuel. So um, every once in a while I'll stand up. I'm on my rear pegs right here. And then I just go one down on the floorboard, one on the rear peg. Other one, sit down. Works out great. <clears throat> Look at them squigglies on the on the screen. Little meow. I just love roads like this. Some nice switchback sweepers. You got the, the river right on the side. I could do this all day. Imagine living out here. I can only imagine just how awesome just having that. Woo! That was a weird bump. A little leaned over. Having a nice little cabin up in the woods. And just deciding, you're like, no, I'm just gonna live here year round. Like that house, right back there. Like, how do you get to that? There's gotta be a crossing somewhere up here. 
game crossing. Oh, uh, there's campers up over there. Oh yeah, there's definitely got to be yeah a little river or little bridge right here to get up over the river. Bunch of stuff going on on that side. But we are. I don't know, we're heading up in uh, Spokane, so that's where we are currently. I think still in Idaho. Yeah. Just look at it. Would you just look at it? That's pretty neat. You can tell it's an Aspen by the way it is. Like, oh, this is so cool. I love this road. Like, this is uh, definitely, this whole section has been one of my uh, top roads. Like, the traffic hasn't been bad at all. You know, get caught up by some people. This person was cruising, but they had like a little 45 mile an hour thing coming up. So I'm just uh, being patient back behind them. But I just love like, it's a sweet road, but how much like life there is on it, you know? Oh, we're gonna have our building business right here. And you know, the wildlife gallery, coffee and creamery place, you know, bunch of people just like yep we're setting up right here we got the river we got some power running up here let's go man 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 Woo! I, I'm 100% speechless right now like I feel like Google Maps is kind of destroying these roundabout ways. Cause like I had it and it suggested, it's really weird on Google maps. Like it suggested like, Hey, go take this way. It's one hour slower. And then I ended up clicking on it. And I think I had to click at least 10 times where it goes, Hey, we found a faster way. Um, click no thanks unless you wanna, uh, if you don't wanna change your route. And I had to click no thanks like eight times like while I'm riding, listening to music and whatnot. I don't understand that on Google Maps. Like you want to suggest this, like it should be click okay if you want to do it. Cause if you don't press nothing, you know, like sometimes I have like rain gloves on or my, you know, it's raining and I can't change it. And then it'll, it'll go and change my route on me when I'm trying to do my GPS. And it really annoys me, but. I'm so glad I didn't let it reroute me on this. That is wild how high that some of this stuff has been. Like you can see like all the the trees like far up on the banks. But that's you know 25 foot up from where this is. And that's a I gotta say that river is at least a hundred foot wide. Wow. Where the goats at? I wanna see some mountain goats. A dirty windshield. I don't know if you see on these Challengers, they have this electric windshield. Boop, boop. Double tap all the way up. Double tap all the way down. Love it. I use that that windshield all the time. Actually, this the Clockworks shorter one. Technically, this one's only available through Indian. Clockworks supplies Indian because I wanted the clear. But if you want the same one in tinted, or they have one that's a touch taller uh, in tinted as well and clear on their website. But I'm a big fan of it. If I want some wind in my face, I put it all the way down. If I kind of want to block out half the wind, just boop, double tap. I put it about all the way up and it works perfect.
right guys, I think this is going to be about the end of this epic road from Boise. I think it went to Horseshoe Bend up by Lake Cascade. Um, US Route 95 and I think I was on 55. Um, can't remember all the other towns I went to, but such a hidden gem of a road. I'm glad I took the, the little bit of detour, even though it was maybe like an hour longer. Um, we're going to find somewhere to stay for the night soon. So I guess we'll see where that ends up. But I think we're kind of getting out of this mountain pass right now. Definitely dope. Definitely check it out. Thank you.